Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome. From the Federalist, top Democrat on January 6th, committee, we didn't actually review any of the surveillance video. Yeah. Yeah. Betty Thompson, there he is. He is the chairman of the January 6th committee. By the way, for those of you that are saying that a lot of the Republicans, including President Trump and a lot of current Republicans in the House and Senate, are election deniers. This gentleman here has tried to stop and deny elections many, many times, along with dozens and dozens of his colleagues, but yet they're not called election denier. It's amazing to me. There's tons of video out. Go on YouTube and look at Benny Thompson election denying, trying to stop the electoral vote. But I digress. After Fox News host Tucker Carlson aired Capitol surveillance footage this week, exposing yet more falsehood from the House Select Committee on January 6th, and leaving Democrats and their media allies irate, the committee chair on Wednesday said the panel never actually analyzed the footage. Well, I'll do it again. Well, more deserving maybe might be this. <laughs> yeah. On Monday's edition of Tucker Carlson Tonight, Fox aired the footage of the riot on January 6th, undermining the select committee's narrative of a deadly insurrection. Oddly enough, to my knowledge, not one person has been charged with insurrection, ah, but who cares about details? Given access to the video by Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, Carson's team reviewed over 40,000 hours of footage, which offered proof the committee manipulated audio and video to dramatize the riot for its made-for-TV hearings in an election year. Yep, they sure did. But in a Wednesday night statement to CNN, Select Committee Chairman Benny Thompson, Democrat from Mississippi, claimed the panel never analyzed the blockbuster footage Fox News aired this week. I am not actually aware of any member of the committee who had access Thompson said, we had a team of employees who th kind of went through the video. Yeah, hired political hacks. My understanding, they even hired somebody from TV to basically produce all of it. It's reality TV, the January 6th committee. You know, Housewives of Beverly Hills. Let me read that again. Quote, I'm not actually aware of any member of the committee who had access. We had a team of employees who kind of went through the video. Hiring investigators who went through the video doesn't sound like a very thorough investigation. Yeah, where's the DOJ? However, Thompson's admission that his committee lacked due diligence makes no sense. Since when do lawmakers have no access to the same material as their own staffers? Now, I think he's lying, and I'll tell you why. Tucker Carlson had said in several of the videos they found bookmarks, which means somebody else had seen that video before Speaker McCarthy gave it to Tucker Carlson and Fox News, which means people did look at it. Did none of the nine panel members view the footage that was played for the cameras? Does Thompson not know who had access to the tapes? Was it just a former television executives they hired to produce this show trial? Either Thompson is lying and knows exactly what access, or he handed the key to Vice Chair Liz Cheney, who had nothing to do with it, while the committee leaked exclusives to CNN. Thompson's office did not immediately respond to the Federalist inquiries. Imagine that. <laughs> the committee cleared out access to the footage Carlson heard this week that contradicted the panel's key narratives. After all, members of the committee endlessly bragged about how many documents more than 35,000 investigators reviewed. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who used the committee to dodge responsibility for her own failure to secure the Capitol, just refused to make the tapes public. And after Carson's revelations, it's clear why. Yep. Carson's program showed the men who became the face of the insurrection, known as the QAnon shaman, I have several videos concerning him, was given VIP treatment by the police, and he was. The tape showed since deceased Capitol officer Brian Sicknick, rest his soul, 
walking around vigorously after altercations with protesters who had allegedly murdered him. Another lie. And they put him, they put his remains with the American flag in the rotunda on display. It was a sickening, sickening, disgusting. That this poor guy ended up dying. I believe it was an aneurysm or a stroke a couple of days later. The footage also showed that mysterious writer Ray Epps lied to Congress investigators about his whereabouts the day of the ride, yet the committee protected the insurrectionist. He was on the FBI's most wanted list for one day. On Monday, did that ever happen before? On Monday, Carlson announced his team discovered proof that Democrats and Pelosi's probe came across the same footage made public. We can be sure the footage contains an electronic bookmark that is still archived in the Capitol's computer system, Carlson said. That means that investigators working for the Democratic Party saw this tape. They saw it, but they refused to release the tape to the public. Committee staffers even used some of the footage to show Senator Josh Hawley allegedly fleeing the Capitol. All Carlson did was extend the footage a few seconds longer that was televised in the committee's show trial hearings and it became clear how they departed the Capitol along with other members of Congress. The clip published by the committee was always demonstrably dishonest. Now, if you're a prosecution in a, in a trial, we'll say, you're going to always show the video that, that makes your side look good. But here's the point. There was no other side. There was no real cross-examining uh, of witnesses. The two show Republicans, Kissinger and Cheney, hated Trump's guts. It wasn't a normal committee. It was loaded. That This thing was rigged from the beginning. This whole committee was rigged. And now they say we actually didn't review any of the surveillance video. We just hired a bunch of political hacks to do it. It's, you know, so you have an election denier that's head of the committee not knowing what the hell is going on. Isn't that interesting? This thing is a farce. But the problem is, millions and millions of people will still believe what they believe, right, wrong, or indifferent. So the clown show continues. Thank God they lost the majority in the House. That's all I can say. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck.